and not to make these celebrations from other parts of southern Nigeria. Workers' uh, demands remain the same as their colleagues elsewhere across the country. The report now. Workers joined their counterparts across state to mark midday beats not without demands. Labour leaders called on the government at all levels to urgently cushion the effects of inflation on the value of the workers' minimum wage. These salaries of workers are not enough to take them home. Workers' life is being imprinted upon. If workers are not working in decent environment, one of the rights of workers is being imprinted upon because there must be dignity of labor. We must work in decent environment. The workers' rights and social economic justice is very sacred for inclusiveness, equity, egalitarian society, and better living conditions of workers and their dependents as normal human beings. Responding. Governor Biotun Oyebanji maintained that workers' welfare remains his administration's priority. We are aware of the need for all hands to be on there to unify the country and rid it of insecurity, corruption, and economic instability. I therefore call on the workers to join hands with government to ensure that we enjoy peaceful environment and socio-economic stability through harmonious relationship with the government. In neighboring Oshun State, Governor Ademola Adeleke, like his counterparts, promised to continue improving the welfare and working conditions of workers in the state. Our administration is focusing on, on workers' welfare because that is the right thing to do. There is no strong link between the former and the former workforce in Oshun State. A very happy public service translates into a booming local economy across the state. To address poverty and underdevelopment, the first place to start is positive treatment of public workers. It's not much of agitation for workers as labor leaders lauded the governor for the payment of workers' salaries and other welfare packages. Your Excellency, sir, we cannot but continue to pray for you and support you so that every of, of your good dreams for the worker and the entire citizenry who will materialize. Mr. Governor, sir, we celebrate you and appreciate your effort over Oshun State workers. But just as human beings are insatiable, we plead that you address our prayers. This regarding the heart of the workers of Oshun State. We appeal to Mr. Governor not to relent in his effort at making sure that the workers' salaries, salary arrears, pensions and gratuity after the march passed at the MKL Stadium, Kuto Abelkuta, the state's capital, workers who came out in mass urged the government to fulfill agreements in the memorandum of outstanding signed with them. We are not losing sight of the challenges that stare us in the face and we are equally not sleeping as we daily rack our brains on our best to bring sugar to our suffering colleagues and retirees. We are sure it is just a matter of time as we shall continue to engage the government for more positive impacts. On behalf of the entire workforce of our dear gateway state, by drawing your attention and put more effort in the area of funding of education sector in general. This includes but not limited to instructional and infrastructural development vis-a-vis -vis human capacity building and welfare of teachers. Great teachers! Governor Dakwa Biodu put a smile on their faces by announcing an increment of minimum pension to 10,000 naira per month. I must state that with all sense of responsibility, that we understand the plight of our workers. And that is why we have remained unwaveringly committed to improving the welfare of our workforce and the populace. We will continue to execute 
people friendly policies and programs that will further make positive impact in the lives of our people through efficient and faithful implementation of our Ishaya mantra. The mood is calm and celebratory in Oyo State as message of hope spice of the day. Governor Shei Makinde assured the workers of improved welfare and in addition promised to frontally address the issue of unemployment across critical sectors of our economy. Similarly, the leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress in the state called on the government at all levels to give room for dialogue when issues bordering on the welfare of workers comes up. I would like to use this opportunity and media to appeal to the state government to lead me to the oppression of our affiliate union who are crying today for justice as to their oppressions in the state. We are happy with the renewed relationship that is currently going, going between the power management system and other vehicular and transport union in Oyo State. The fact that we structure the health scheme in order for it to be proactive and adequately meet the health needs and challenges of the Oyo State workers and the citizens of the land. In Delta State, workers requested the governor in Fai Okoa and over the cordial working relationship with the union to the governor-elect Sharif Oberori. This, they said, would enable them to get more benefits. Dear workers, I sincerely appeal to you to send the same hands of fellowship to the incoming governor and his administration. The highlight of the event was the presentation of trophies to winners of the first, second and third positions in the March past. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.